Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. The Wind Peak Inn features what the troubles you, my and all the entire Dark. town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where we Follow me. It's this way. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple has been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her.
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Behold the Skull of Corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the Inner Sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. We fight to the last! <laughs> It's nothing! Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. We mustn't tell you. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the Awakened within. We fight to the
This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is still intact. Barring any more interruption, we're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes. The Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I assure you, the Dream Stride is well known in Verminian lore. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was imbibed could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Wait! Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. Well done. I wasn't certain you'd even know what to look for. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guide us the rest of the way. Drink.
I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thoric, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Come, we must get to the skull and destroy it. You're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. 
Enough of your lies! I can't allow you to destroy the skull, Priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. They Never must stop us! Oh. Oh. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories. We fight to the last! Feel the benevolence of Mara! I'll let you live. Grant me the power to break through this barrier, and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. <laughs> 